I'm like, man, I don't think I want to work here. I don't want to work here. You know what I'm saying? You can go find somewhere. Oh, bro. Oh. Hey, yo. Ooh, hey. It's your boy Raji back again with another reaction video. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you guys follow me on IG at Raji1. And DM me and let me know what you guys want to see me react to or see me do on my channel. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to the gang. Nah, I'm serious. Hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to the gang. You know what I mean? Subscribe. Alright. Yeah. You done? You done? You stay rolling? What you mean? Welcome back to the BGC with your boy Roger and Sam back again with another ooh reaction video. Today's reaction video is to the Try Guys new challenge thing that they're doing called, we already seen the other ones that they, they've done before. We've seen the without a recipe and without instructions. Now, um, in this video will be two Try Guys taking instructions from two chefs and creating something. The chefs are no longer, the, cannot tell the two Try Guy members what they are making. And at the end where they're being judged, the chefs will be in the hot seat and the chefs will see the creations that the Try Guys made for the first time, as well as, a, uh, as long, uh, along with, alongside with the judges. So they don't know what to expect. So this is going to be very funny. If you guys haven't seen the Try Guys, go check them out. And um, we're going to be starting it from here because the old without the recipes are when they were four members and there's no longer four members. And for reasons that I will not speak about, but Ned is no longer part of the Try Guys. So now it's just Eugene, Keith, and Zach. And if you guys want to figure out why Ned's no longer part of the Try Guys, go to the Try Guys' channel and they explain it all right there and there. They explain everything. And like I said, I agree on the pointers that they pointed out and what Ned did was, was not cool. So I understand why he's no longer part of the Try Guys. Um, I started watching the Try Guys when the first video I've seen of them is when they did a driving a driving course and they did it sober, high, drunk, and sleep deprived. The video was funny as heck, but I'm not gonna go back to those because that was when it was four. I'm starting to get where it was just the three. Okay, so this is gonna be funny and this one is called Phoning It In. Now, they did an episode of this already, so I know how phoning it in works, but again, I'm not doing it because one of the old fourth members is in it, so we're going to be starting it from here, where it's just, you know what I mean, start off fresh. So, if you guys aren't, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, subscribe to the game, show some love, show some support, and I'm going to hurry up and wrap this video up quick, because I got to go pick up my Sunday day. And if you guys aren't, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and turn on bell notifications for future uploads. Share the video. Comment down below what you guys want to see me react to. Let's have some fun, you know what I mean? Let's enjoy this. We're going to be starting this in three. Oh, oh, and by the way, this video has Johnny Cakes in it. If you guys haven't seen Johnny Cakes' work, he does amazing cakes. Amazing work on cakes. Like, he does real artistry with these cakes. So go check those out. So go check those out, those videos out, and I'm ready to hop right up into it. You know what I mean? Gonna be started in three, two, one. Tonight, two celebrity chefs will square off in the greatest culinary battle of all time. First of all, thank you so much for the opportunity. I'm so excited for you to taste <laughs> what I've created for you today. There's just one catch. Feels the same, should I put my finger in it? No, don't put your finger in it. I'm gonna put my finger in it. They won't be the ones in the kitchen. 
Are we certain we put cornstarch in? Well, I don't know, because I'm in a phone booth right now. The mind of a chef. We want it to be nice and, and fluffy. Partnered with the hands of an idiot. I hope you're not disappointed in me. I'm trying so hard. What did I make? <laughs> Only connected by a pay phone? Focus games. <laughs> okay, honestly, this is fun. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> You're really funny, but I might not laugh because I'm I'm stressed. <laughs> no! Phoning it in starts right now. Let's go. Welcome to Phoning It In. Today's theme is chocolate. The rules are simple. While the chefs on the phone have prepared their recipes, the chefs in the kitchen are not allowed to know what they're making. Each team will be given two hours to complete their dish and present it to our panel of judges. Let's meet our contestants. Johnny Cake's Manganello is the breakout star of Netflix's Is It Cake? His hyper-realistic style has garnered over a million followers on it. TikTok. I not only like to make pastries that look picture perfect, but also taste outstanding. Winning would mean everything, and I'll tell you why. I've competed on shows in the past, and I've never taken home a win. But today, he'll be phoning in his instructions and recipe to an idiot. My name is Zach, and I lack culinary skill. As a chef, I would say that my style is general panic. When I'm in the kitchen, chaos reigns. <laughs> I don't know what we're cooking today, but even if I did know what we were cooking, it wouldn't matter, because I'm very bad at this. Frankly, I'm not interested in cooking. I don't want to know. I'm not, I don't care. Jimmy Wong is a cookbook author and co-host of Feast of Fiction, a cooking show aimed at bringing foods from TV and film to life. My baking style is figure out the recipe by testing it about a thousand times and then following it to a T. I consider myself a very competitive person when it comes to stuff that I personally think I'm very capable of. Today, Jimmy will be phoning in his instructions to this guy. My name is Keith, and judges tend not to like my inventive creations. I like to make white people taco night. I'm not a good baker. <laughs> I don't have patience for recipes. I don't like sweets. And I'd like to be high while That's I do bad. it and not have a hard time. <laughs> have you ever not cleaned up egg on your counter, and then you walked away and it comes back? It, it turns into, like, crystals. You ever seen that? <laughs> What's going on with eggs? To begin, each team will have enough quarters for 30 minutes on the phone. And their time starts right now. Is this Zach? Johnny, is that you? It's me, Johnny. How are you? It's been so long. Oh my god, okay, this is happening. Hello, Keith. Keith, can you yes. hear me? Hello, oh, yes. Great. I need you to grab a bunch of ingredients. I'm going to say them to you one at a time. First, two sticks of unsalted butter. So I am opting to make a black forest cake. This is a really awesome cake that uses shaved chocolate shavings to coat the outside, and it gives us this awesome textured look and feel. It doesn't really matter what it looks on the inside because you can put on a lot of stuff on the outside. It's like wearing a beautiful dress, but not showering underneath. Two sticks of unsalted butter. They're pretty dang cold. Oh shoot, they're cold. Okay, I can put, 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 put them in my pockets for a while. <laughs> Don't put them in your pockets. Okay, Johnny, I've got bowls and I've got measuring stuff. Fantastic, you're halfway there. Okay, can you go get me two cups of whole milk? Chocolate whole milk? Not chocolate whole milk. I am actually going to steer away from chocolate overload. So we're gonna do a chocolate eclair. So you're gonna get that dark chocolate flavor profile, but there's gonna be so much else going on. I know going into this that this is a risk. So if it can be executed well, I think we have a win on our hands. A lot could go wrong for somebody with crippling anxiety. <laughs> I mean, isn't that half the fun of this? Isn't that why we're here? Okay, we're gonna work on two different things at once, okay? So I want you to get a medium saucepan. What's a saucepan? Sauce okay, so, um, a saucepan. 
Okay, I need you to get a warm water in one of the bowls so that you can submerge the sticks of butter in it. Because we gotta get them to room temperature. Really important. I'm really hoping this isn't gonna do that thing where it like just shatters the glass. You know how that can happen? <laughs> that would be bad. Whole milk. I put the milk in the saucepan. Oh, fantastic! You did that without me! <laughs> Boil, 212, baby. Keith and I are doing totally different things right now, which is super confusing. Don't worry, you know what? Just focus on us. You and me, baby. Yeah, it's like a like a first date, but stressful. <laughs> Can you find parchment paper and scissors? Parchment paper. All right, first I thought you said parsnip paper, and I'm like, that's crazy, bro. I've been able to judge Keith a couple of times on Without a Recipe, and I think he brings a lot of heart to the table, and also a big history of food behind him. Okay, I think these are properly greased. All right, cool. You're gonna find a duster, so it kind of looks like a metal net almost. Like a sifter? Yeah, kind of like that. I assume we're gonna dust these pans? Correct. Okay. This this is fun, bro. Does it look properly? It's getting really chocolatey. And you want this on the paper, right? Yeah, yeah, on the paper, on everything. Oh, it's it's on everything. There's <laughs> chocolate <laughs> everywhere, bro. <laughs> chocolate is everywhere. I've never been like this. Chocolate on my shoe, and my shoe is one of those kind that's like porous. So there's probably chocolate in my socks. I know what I'm making. Rachel, I'm making a mess. <laughs> There's chocolate everywhere. So now what we need to do is we need to separate the egg yolks and the egg whites. We want the yolks, we do not want the whites. I don't care what you do with the whites. <laughs> Just throw them away. I'm not fast. Oh, okay, we lost an egg, don't worry about it. Okay, that's two and a half. I've never heard of an egg be measured. <laughs> In, in half units, but okay, cool. We're gonna mix together the dry ingredients of the recipe, okay? Two cups of flour in the bowl, salt, baking powder, two teaspoons of baking soda, three-fourths of a cup cocoa powder. Okay, man, there's chocolate right. everywhere. I'm doing that technique where you kinda pass it back and forth. Love it, love that technique. Did you wash your hands? Did I wash my hands today? I did. You said today, like, you don't do it every day. I'd say we're in too deep to ask if I wash my hands, Johnny. <laughs> Can you check now the butter in the bowl and see if it is squishy? Yeah, it looks more than squishy. <laughs> Feels like uh, hot little wet socks of butter. What you want to be able to do is to be able to put a finger into it and easily press into it. Oh yeah, my fingers go in, no problem. <laughs> okay, great. Next up, we're gonna find a stand mixer. Uh -huh. Get the sugar, you have granulated sugar now? I need you to pour two cups of that into there. Okay, two cups of granulated sugars. Should be about five minutes. We're creaming the butter and sugar together right now. I hope you're not disappointed in me. I'm trying so hard in here. There's butter and chocolate everywhere. You know there are towels you could wipe your hands off, right? That is acceptable as a baker. All right, measure out two thirds cup of sugar and put it in with the egg yolks. This is gonna be a workout. You're gonna whisk it, whisk it together. Ooh, the egg is like turning into like this squand putty. And then I want you to go grab me a fourth a cup of cornstarch. I got the cornstarch. All right, dump it in and whisk, 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 whisk. Hey, do you know what my favorite cooking strategy board game is called? What? Whisk. I get it. I can't wait to joke with you later. <laughs> Add in our wet ingredients. So you have the canola oil and the buttermilk and the coffee right next to you, right? Yes. All right, so we're going to very slowly add this into the mixture, right? So if it's the oil, you're gonna dump in like a third of it. Third of it at a time. Yeah. Well, I heckin' just eyeball the third like a god. Like a god. I am really good at this. It's a, yeah, it's like a little less than a third, but it's dang close. Focus, Keith. Focus, focus, focus. Okay, I want you to place the, the milk mixture next to the bowl of cornstarch, eggs, and sugar. What the dick am I making? All right, we've got milk, we've got eggs. I want you to take a fourth of a cup of that warm milk mixture. Can you test to make sure it's still warm? It's my... Ow. Yeah, I'd say it's hot. Ow. Why'd you make me do that? If I were a baby, I would be screwed right now. The good news is you're a full grown man, so you're fine. Okay, now put a fourth of a cup of milk into the egg mixture and whisk that. Because if I do this too quick, I get scrambled eggs, right? Exactly. Congeal is a gross word. Yeah, it is, okay. We're gonna put in the coffee, but only half the cup. Ooh, it's fun. All right, now we have your two eggs, right? Check this out. Here we go, the one hand break. Yeah. No, 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 why, why are you doing one hand? No. Perfect. Why is it all bubbles? No, 
In which way? <laughs> it's bubbles. Keith, would you describe this as bubble bath esque? No, Keith. Keith, let, let, okay, all right, kids. <laughs> We're gonna put a teaspoon of the vanilla extract in as well. It looks kind of like a lot. Would y'all be able to do bit. this? That is exactly what it should look like. So we're gonna so mix in that first big, big bowl of dry ingredients into this, this thing in front of you. I'm pretty sure I'm making a cake. Are you short on room? It's basically well, having instructions without reading room. the instructions. You're really funny, but I might not laugh because I'm I'm stressed. <laughs> but if you guys watch the well, running out of time here, I'm trying to see how put, 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 put your wrap over it, put it in the freezer. Wrap over it, put it in the freezer. Fluffy, fluffy. Oh shit. Hang up and try again. Oh, he okay. I lost him. He said, put, put, put. I also said, we're running out of time here, but I need to do what the butter is to just He said, put, put, put. I'm gonna guess I put, put, put it in the fridge. With their initial round of quarters gone, now each chef will have to compete in the ancient art of cup and ball. Okay, honestly, this is fun. <laughs> oh no, this is bad. He would have specified a bowl, bowl, bowl that could go in the oven. So I'm gonna guess that I put, put, put this in the refrigerator. You said freezer, but okay. Oh my gosh. I don't know if there was enough butter because you guys saw how the butter looked. You guys saw. <laughs> he doesn't know. Do children play this game? Yeah, I broke mine. <gasps> I, I did. Now they'll spin the wheel of mayhem to determine how many quarters the fates allow. Eight quarters! Bring me to the arcade, suckers. Let's go. Hey! Hey! Man, cheater. I feel like I'm at Chuck E. Cheese! Daddy? You're back! I'm back! Oh, thank goodness. All right, buddies. Zach, Zach, Zach. Johnny, I put it in the fridge. Yes! Put it in the freezer, though, but good job. Oh, the freezer! Okay. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm making. How are the dry ingredients doing? It's pretty gooey, I'd say. It kind of looks like a thicker brownie batter. Great, okay, so let's make our way over to our cake pans. And what you're gonna wanna do is slowly and evenly pour it out into both and then pick up the, the pans and sort of bop them down so that the batter starts to even out the top. Get the, the pans on like a surface that you can spin them on. And what you wanna do is carefully grab them and spin it. And what this is gonna do is help even out the batter on the inside so that it's gonna bake as flat as possible, okay? This is Fine. You should see it really start to even out the surface of them. I want you to put both of those into the oven, the 350 degree oven now. One of them kind of looks like there's a squirrel on it. Okay. Sure, why not? Love it. Okay, so now we're going to move on to part two, okay? This is a completely separate part. Eclairs are a three-step pastry. There's making the pastry cream, there's making the shoe pastry, and then there's making chocolate ganache. I need you to get another saucepan. I got it, Giant. Don't even sweat it, bro. So in that saucepan, I want you to put the cup of water, put a whole stick of butter, give it a bath. Done. Two teaspoons, teaspoons of sugar, not salt. <laughs> salt. <laughs> Well, I've watched too many of these Try Guys videos <laughs> to know that that could happen. It definitely could. We need could. this to come to a roaring boil. Let's okay. kind of, yeah, it's now, now well, it's just all boiling. Right and then I want you to take that cup here. of flour that we have, dump it into the bowl. Dump it! And then stir it in. Stir it in until it's incorporated. And ah! <laughs> oh, Johnny, it splashed on my hand. Put all of that mixture into the stand mixer. And then what we want to do is we want to crack in eggs one at a time. And what's your preference on, um, do you want shell or no shell? Obviously no f***ing shell. I'm sorry for <laughs> well, that, but no not, shell. Not obvious. Baby, when did you ever eat an eggshell? All right, so I'm gonna need you to find the heavy cream. Heavy cream. It might be in the fridge. Oh, Wait. it's so heavy. JK. Get two tablespoons of granulated sugar on top of the heavy cream. Oh, we're making whipped cream. Bingo! I, I've done this before, but I've yeah. always used powdered sugar. Uh, again, though, I've only ever done this when guessing. <laughs> what happened to the baking? Yeah, I'm it's, assuming it's we're time at. to go. It's time to go. Pull them out and let's toothpick test those cakes. Other one's pretty good. Let's grab them and let's put them in the freezer. You want them in the freezer? Yeah. We need them to be as cool as possible before we take it out. Otherwise, we might ruin the whole thing. I might ruin the whole thing. Jeez. Yeah, I'm putting another quarter in. Okay, so now we're going to take that part two. What are you calling that part two that we did? Is um, there a name for it? 
eggy goo and mixy goo. So we're gonna take mixy goo and we're gonna put it in a bag and we're gonna pipe it out on a baking tray. Okay, so you get the this and the this. And I want them to look as straight and uniform as possible. They should be about six inches in length and about as like fat or thick as like a corn dog, okay? So like little dicks. I mean, you said little dicks. <laughs> I didn't say little dicks. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm the one calling them little dicks. But now you're saying it's an average sized dick for those at home who are concerned. Yeah, a little, a six inch is not a weird dick. That's a great dick. Great, awesome. Love that we cleared that up, but I do also <laughs> want to see if we're piping right now. <laughs> So Zach is pretty good. Find our way to the semi-sweet chocolate chips in the bowl. Pour it over and you're gonna use that spatula to basically start swirling around and mixing it until all the chocolate has melted. Oh yeah, melty welty. I want you to go get some chocolate chips. All right, semi-sweet chocolate, you got it. Zach. Zach, that's so much chocolate on the you floor. You didn't put the lid on tight. I want you to go find a bar of semi-sweet chocolate. So you're gonna put the box grater inside the bowl. You're gonna basically shave chocolate shavings on the largest side. The more the merrier, because we're gonna use this all over our final product. It is yeah, not as easy as I want it to be. It's really <laughs> grating on me, if I can be honest. Aha! Uh -huh. And the bowl fits snugly on the on the pot. Oh, it's so snug. These dudes are cuddling. You're, you're making a double boiler. Oh, you're double boiling. I have a feeling something something funny is about to happen. Okay, Johnny, what. what's next? We're wasting time, man. <laughs> okay, Last we are getting quarter. close, buddy. We're gonna come back to the chocolate shavings in just a bit, so let's put this to the side and let's go get our cakes out of the freezer. And then you should be able to very carefully turn it upside down and have the whole thing come out. Oh yeah, it came out almost too well. <laughs> If you put the other one on top, is it pretty flat? It's not like too wobbly or one direction or the other. Okay, here's a dilemma. Both of the cakes are on the rack and it's hard to get them off the rack without them falling apart. What do you mean without them falling apart? Yes, it's very tender. Are they, shoot, they didn't cool down enough, crap. We don't want it to fall apart. If it does, not the end of the world. Okay, you have one minute till you lose your contestants. Me? Everyone. Okay, 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 listen up, all right? So I'm gonna have to go off the phone soon, so you need to hear exactly what I'm gonna tell you. you get, you're going into places I'm not ready for. I'm just at the whipped cream, bro. If I don't talk to you again, the whole thing, the dick in the oven gets dunked, the top of it gets dunked into the chocolate, the goo in the fridge goes into it, inject it up and in. So you want me to put frosting on the cake, put the other cake on top of it and pour chocolate on it, right? Do you want it like, like f***ing just, just oozing with goo? Yes, goo in the fridge, dicks in the oven, chocolate in the bowl, I trust you. Then you're going to cover the whole thing with that chocolate mixture, and then after that, you're going to cover that with the chocolate flakes. Goo in the fridge, dicks in the oven, chocolate for supper time. You got the goo in the fridge. Dicks in the oven, <laughs> chocolate in the bowl. It's sounding like a little bit like country. Then you're going to pipe on little circles with the whipped cream and put maraschino cherries in all of it all the way around. Make sense? That's where the cherries come into play. Okay. Okay, okay, just listen, just listen, Keith. Yeah, cherries on top of whipped cream. Put it in the bowl. I trust you. I knew, I knew it. I felt this coming. At least he can make something. With the chefs out of quarters, gonna, Keith and Zach will gonna, now finish the last good. 10 minutes alone. I said, okay. I've seen it, they're trying to get there right oh, without us, please. <laughs> Keith, how do you feel? <laughs> uh, I mean, I can't, I was like, there must be like 50 minutes left. See, I go look at this situation here. Uh-oh. It's like opening up like a little egg. Wow, that's beautiful. What do you think you've made? The wrong thing. <laughs> it looks like a giant Oreo. It's not as smooth, I imagine, as he wanted it to be. <laughs> One more time, oh no! <laughs> Don't do that. Stay in here. Stay together, everybody. Oh, look at these. Oh, they cracked. That certainly is not ideal. What the f could this be? Stay, what am I gonna do? So I gotta somehow get this goo into this bag and then pipe it. Okay, let's get the goo in dicks. Just like Johnny told me. It's creating a little support and wall right now. You. Oh, I'm really just pulverizing it. He said to make little cute dollops and decorate with cherries. Really unspecific. Stab a little hole and then you squeeze. Give it a little chocolate bath. Oh boy. Ooh. Ooh. Oh no! Yeah. 
Mm. You might think it's underreacting, but I think I'm just in shock. That's a bad hit. What do we do? It's just, it's just it's too warm. So it's just too right hot. Now. It's just too hot. Cakes are too hot. Cakes. Can't, you can't make cake when it's too hot. Dude, your cake is so hot. <laughs> no, just put some more in. Oh, when Keith gets sad, he gets really quiet. Well, I don't know what to do. I don't blame you. It's too warm. Cakes are too warm. They melted everything, and then they drank up all the junk, and then just fell right apart. What did you think about Zach saying uh, <laughs> that it's small? Uh, I'm not going to get into the weeds of it all, but I did not say that. Right. He you know, did. Do you know what a size queen is? Uh, no. Is this someone that... So, in the gay world, or maybe all the worlds, basically it's like somebody who like loves a big dick. Right. right. And so Zach is a size, a, queen. a size queen. Gotcha. That makes sense. How much time? 30 seconds. 30 seconds, okay. I worked so hard. To give up now? No. No. Oh boy, this can't be the way that he wanted me to do that. Um, uh. Five, four, oh. three, two, one. <laughs> Hands up, bakers! Nailed it. <laughs> Fucking crushed it, guys. <laughs> what did I make? <laughs> judging. Welcome to the judging. Today's criteria is taste, presentation, and execution. Hey, I'm Garrett Bernard. I'm an actor and comedian. Uh, somebody was sick, so they called me. Probably somebody more qualified, right? It was the LA Times food columnist. It was the LA Times food columnist. So, big disappointment here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Hi, I'm Monique. I'm a Michelin starred pastry chef, and I was formerly the chocolatier at the French Laundry. So, I'm really looking forward to our chocolate creations today. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is bad news. Yeah. Uh, Good luck with me. <laughs> <laughs> Chocolate eclair. Judges, first of all, thank you so much for the opportunity. Remember, he has so no idea what it what looks like. Neither do we. I had this vision this morning right. that we would have a Michelin star pastry chef. This is going to be good. <laughs> so I said, why not try to rise to the <clears> I, I make cakes like it's clockwork. But today, I got to impress the big leagues. Mm -hmm. So I decided maybe something you find in a beautiful window in Paris. Today I present you with none other than my world famous chocolate eclairs. Paris and California also. Yeah. I feel like I'm in Paris as well. Paris, Texas. Is that a place? Yeah, yeah, so I did this, so this is really good. Yeah. I, I don't want to offend you, Chef Johnny, but it does look like shit. Like it legitimately does. Look uh, like BC. I unfortunately agree. It's very apt that you brought up your vision of Paris. The Parisians, there's a cliche for um, they're not picking up after their oh dogs. And so this really reminds me of being in the streets of Paris. Uh, the theme today was chocolate, so I really dunked them. Yeah. <laughs> Normally I don't do that. <laughs> Normally it's less. <laughs> that looks really nicely filled, to be honest. That's like a very good open pocket. Yeah, that looks great too. He is so nervous. I don't hate it. Taste-wise, it is an eclair. All of the elements are there and they taste correct. Relatively the correct consistency. And honestly, something that exceeded expectation was the glossage. Sometimes it can be very fake tasting um, and this is 
really well done. Now, because I've, I've never had an eclair before, I don't know what I'm really looking for, to be honest. <laughs> great. <laughs> that no, that's really great. I still don't know what an eclair is. <laughs> so I, is it supposed to be like a shell? It's supposed to be a little crispier. Mm -hmm. okay. I thought it was a donut. I, I thought the, the whole time it was a donut. I mean, what I'm hearing is I've broken boundaries. You've broken boundaries. I've created something entirely new, I, fresh, original, fresh, yeah. never been done before. Yeah. I'm gonna Google Eclair. Iona, I think I said. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> Choose like, carefully, because you never yeah, know yeah, what you, you might get, so. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's soggy. It's a, shall I eat shit on camera? <laughs> oh, was that not already happening? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Hey, Dad, you're proud of me, okay. <laughs> exactly as I intended. <laughs> <laughs> Famously, I love it wet and gushy. Oh, yes. They gotta call it called Cardi. Uh, Black Forest chocolate cake. Well, thank you so much, uh, judges. Today, I have prepared for you a decadent two layer Black Forest cake, or a Black Forest gateau. Uh, it is uh, got a devil's food cake recipe with a, uh, a whipped cream filling. Uh, it's going to be covered in a delicious chocolate ganache Jeep is and right have, of course, shaved semi-sweet right chocolate uh, all across it. And on top, of course, we're going to use that same whipped cream and put some delicious dark cherries to finish off that wonderful, classy look. And I can't wait <laughs> to see it myself. <laughs> No! <laughs> no! No! It's your cake. It's your yes! cake. It's your cake. My masterpiece, as God intended. I can't believe I made so many decisions <laughs> to put the bars up. Like fortress walls! It was like your cake was way too fucking hot for your plan. And somebody had to figure out what to do. <laughs> Good show. <laughs> this is a choice. Oh. I wish we could judge you on your verbal presentation. Thank that you, you just so You nicely. still can, yeah. actually. <laughs> that moment when you took the cloche off, I don't think I've ever had a harder, like, Instagram versus reality. Yeah. Ah, and, yes. And, I love meme moment. culture. That's cool. I like it. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually kind of... Can you tell us more about the bars? The bars? Yeah. That's semi-sweet chocolate bars uh, that were originally put against a cheese grater on the largest hole setting. But I think at some point, I must have thought that is a dumb idea. Because when I want to eat chocolate, I want the whole thing. I want bars. I don't want to be teased. That's a... Heavy slice. Okay, there's uh, definitely intended to put frosting. Ooh. Monique, look, that thing that fell off right in front, it's got a little bit of everything. It's perfect. It's exactly what you want to bite into. Oh my gosh. Um, it's really good. <laughs> Do you feel like the guy in Matilda? Yeah. This is kind of it's really kind evocative of, same, of us. Yeah. I'll eat this whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And the flavor is really good. The texture, the moistness level is all spot on. I think it's a really good chocolate cake. I'm not sure that it's a good Black Forest cake. Fortress. That fortress. Okay, you must have right, heard right. me. The filling in between is just completely nowhere to be found. Maybe because the cake was hot. It feels like a general theme. Uh, letting the cakes cool down. It's just a theme of baking. <laughs> when whipped cream melts, it just basically becomes cream, and you're missing that really important factor that's part of a Black Forest cake. So the, the chocolate bars might make me um, keel over um, and die, unfortunately, but I do think that the everything else is pretty solid. Mmm, okay. The base cake is very good. If I was able to do this again, Chef, I would probably take another hour or two, mm -hmm. let the cake cool down. Such a silly <laughs> mistake to me. You should be ashamed of yourself. Um, thank you, judges, for your professional and very kind opinion. <laughs> Who will win? 
Who do you guys got for winning, Jimmy or Johnny? So guys, this was a tough decision to make because before coming here, uh, I didn't even know what these were. Yes, congratulations, chef. Um, the winning dish is... Black Forest. Oh, congratulations. Oh, <laughs> So this is a cake, <laughs> and this is a piece of shit. <laughs> so, it's like, it's kind of. <laughs> and you made some fatal flaws. Wow. Yes, <laughs> yes I take full responsibility <laughs> for the piece of shit. <laughs> Sorry, you. Sorry. Sorry. Maybe it's the room that does oh it. Oh my gosh. That is it. Goo in the fridge, chicks in the oven. That's a good song. Can, should, can we like record it? We're gonna have to make a little dance to it though. Goo in the fridge, dicks in the oven. Chocolate in the bowl. Goo in the fridge, dicks in the oven. Chocolate in the bowl. <laughs> Yo, oh my gosh. That video was funny as heck. I did see they do have a without a recipe Pop Tart. Should I do it? Should I do it? Eugene, Zach, and Keith without a pot tart recipe? I don't know. But that video was funny as heck. Honestly, the Black Forest was on point. The chocolate eclairs was like covered chocolate. Like, I don't know what to call that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, well, I, I'm going to put the original link for this in the description below. If you guys want to check out the Try Guys without the recipes, Go to their channel, super funny, super lit. And like I said, from this point on forward, I'll be doing Chai Guy videos. And honestly, phoning it in, I hope they keep continuing this. Next time I at least wanna see Eugene in it because Eugene wasn't in the first two. So I wanted to see Eugene versus either Zach and Keith and whoever, but they should continue with this. Phoning it in is pretty is a fun game, and uh, yeah, so I might do the pop tart one too without a recipe pop tart. I don't know, but some of these ideas that they have are freaking awesome, bro. It's just awesome. The content is just awesome, bro. Shout out to the try guys. Like I said, they're doing their thing, and I'm gonna continue to watch. Um. <laughs> Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and turn on bell notification for future uploads. Share the video and comment down below what you guys want to see me react to. And on that note, Blaze Gang, out.